Hi guys, welcome! So welcome back, we're watching Love After World Domination, episode 7. And, y'all, I did express my thoughts on this series in my last video. And then y'all in the comments, like, really understood me. And I was really trying to articulate and get it across what I meant. And you guys really understood every word that I meant. And I was so happy about that because I think communication online is one of the most complicated things. Some people never really get what you mean. It's misinterpreted. And then to correct yourself or to re-elaborate where you think you understand the person got you wrong, it would require a whole other video. It's just not really easy to <laughs> fully express oneself clearly for everyone to get it um but i'm really happy that you guys did so we're gonna check out episode seven and you know see how that goes and stuff like that so i know i'm gonna enjoy it and all but let's just let's just see if i you know still feel as i did or as i do and um so last week's episode was for the most part a beach episode they managed to it was actually really random because you would think it was like gecko and you know gelato five that would be you know, batting heads at the beach, um, or at least trying to confront the robot that they had, but it was more like they just saw it, they ran away, and then the beast girl was just running away from Gelato, the blue one, and then, then they were on a date and she was just hanging out with all the friends, and it was just, okay. <laughs> yeah, this week's episode is called... Destiny Magahara is the monster I made. Right, I don't understand what that means, so let's jump into it and let's see. How did you know I was hungry? Oh! Oh my god, you cook, cook. I bet he's like 15. I'm salty. I'm working late. Daigo san. Okay, maybe you older actually. Hold on. Okay, now she's hitting on him. He's older. Oh, he don't get it? Oh, okay, no, he gets it. He's just like, no. <laughs> Imagine he's not behind closed doors. That would be the most interesting plot twist. <laughs> Imagine afterwards, he's like, <gasps> No, he's older. Oh my god. Oh my god! Wait, he didn't- It's the name that's shaking him, it's not even like having met her. So you probably never really see her, Is the name! Bro, he got so shook! Oh my god, the food! Oh my god. That is a very dangerous reaction. <gasps> Bro, be careful. Okay. <laughs> I was like, is he gonna start tripping again? Is he the one that trained her, maybe? And so she's like, savage? Mmm, I had a feeling. Okay, he was in middle school 10 years ago. That's good to know. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's gonna break people. Mm. As you can see, he doesn't have a scar on his nose yet, so. Oh no. You're gonna get winded. Oh no. Oh my god. I thought it was gonna be his, you know, his life flash before his eyes. <laughs> oh 
Bro, his life flashed before his eyes. <laughs> Little stanky leg. Oh no, he does not want to play with you anymore. <gasps> he almost died again. She beat everybody up. So why does he say the monster I made? Did he continue to train her? <laughs> That's the <bow. gasps> Oh my gosh. She doesn't have to hit you to train her, right? Wow, so you trained the princess of Gecko? That's super smart. <laughs> I hope in turn that made him strong too. Oh, oh my god. Oh no. No wonder he's so good at holding back anything now. <laughs> Just to keep her from killing me. Why are they trying to whoop this girl? They just heard things about her, I guess? Mm. No, they won't. He just delayed her by like two minutes. Bro, he's talking about his traumatic past. Excuse you. Does, does she give him the flipping scar? I didn't. <laughs> I can't believe he held face this whole time. He doesn't want to. He will not. Okay, so he, yeah, he met her. He didn't even remember her at the beach. <laughs> oh my god. Although I did feel like, I don't know, I did feel like there was something, but... For real. Bro. Oh my god. That would be a fire, I'm not gonna cap. That's the smartest thing to do. She would be down, she would be down. Oh, but no workplace romance. <laughs> she really doesn't remember him? Oh no, she does. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's really trying to hold his hand. <gasps> oh my god, it's actually really sad how 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 uncomfortable she makes him. <laughs> Considering the lovely past that she remembers. 
And to think that he wants nothing to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> oh no. Does he look okay? He didn't even drink his coffee yet his cup is empty. He can actually handle her hits though. Bro, she punches him and he's rock solid. Did you see that hit, by the way? So you could become Gelato 6. <laughs> Her face is so cute there. No workplace romance. I I'd say I would as long as you accept that we are an exception because you know we're dating before coming into the, 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 the yeah oh he's gonna say no he's low-key happy because at least he did his job he could be the sixth <laughs> bro this literally makes no sense <laughs> oh my god, that is just so, that's so pervy. <laughs> yes, just in love, though. Bruh. No, it hasn't, actually. How have you handled fighting Destiny as the princess there? The Reaper princess. Um... Mm, no. Oh, she's about to whoop your ass, bro. You said the wrong words. That's not what she wanted to do in Gelato 5, okay? <laughs> she wanted to date. Yeah, mm. Honestly, whatever. It works. Just. <laughs> Are you like shaking again? Bro, literally your enemy. Y'all really wrong for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all so wrong for this. It's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, he was so sad. And he'd do that wide. Do you see that bicep? Do you see that arm? That's a very huggable arm.
Who's that? Pink hair? Dang, that food though, that really went to waste. Oh, get it? That food though, it sounds like I said, food <laughs> So, that was funny. It was pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I definitely liked the first half quite a bit. The second half also did kind of go back to feeling a little bit, I don't know how to explain it. It was like, <sighs> this episode, Near the beginning and stuff was making me feel more like, oh, yeah, it's getting some react. Then, then as it rolled out and continued and, and went through by the end, I was back kind of like in how I expressed previously. So I feel like this show might be a little bit off the mark for my reactions, just for me personally. Um, and I do know there's quite a bit of other ones that I do want to get back to. So this is what's getting me a little bit checky checky, but... Um, the Daigo, this was funny. I'm not gonna lie, this was funny with Daigo. He's honestly a great sport for actually pulling through and, and training her, regardless of how much pain he went through. And he held out until he graduated, and then he did. <laughs> he did. So he really put her on her own two feet. That's actually pretty sick of him, honestly. Um, although it seemed like she didn't need him from the get go. Gecko, get it? Oh my god, Lash, shut up. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, so, um, <laughs> actually really sad because their story and everything is super, super cute. But he's traumatized by her, like, for real. So, that's pretty messed up. And so, we're introduced to a new character. It seems there's gonna be a girl taking pictures of them. Now, what's her purpose? Is she, uh, someone looking for a scoop, you know, on them? Um, is she someone that we need to be like, wary of? Like, is she gonna go around I'm taking pictures of them trying to, like, figure out who... who not who they are, but like, expose them? Or does she just want to talk about Red's dating life? I don't know. I'm not sure what her goal is, but I guess we'll find out. So I shall end it here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, and I'll see y'all again in my next video. So thank you, and bye!